This is your one and only Firespark81 with your daily dose of video goodness. And today, we are modding. Yeah, finally. I know it says it in the trailer, but we're finally doing it. Are you guys excited? I hope so, because I have something cool to show you. So this is a mod that I'm working on for basically myself because uh, the mod spotlights and such, I do a lot of building and unbuilding and more building and more building and gathering resources was becoming a pain in the butt. So what I'm creating here is a dupe box. It just makes resources using resources. So you put in one stone, it gives you a hundred stone. You can use those hundred stone to make even more stone and this so on and so on. So if you look here, we have the stone already done. Now we're going to add thatch. So we're going to go over here and search thatch and maybe actually click the game this time. So you want your main folder and we're going to look for primal item resource thatch. And hunt, and hunt, and hunt, and it's in here somewhere. I could have just typed in the whole thing, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of, it's the arc dev kit. If you mod, you know what I'm talking about. So here's what we're looking for. Primal item resource, resource thatch. We're going to drag that over. Now we're going to make a child of this. The reason we do that is because we want the game to still see it as thatch no matter what we do to it here. So we will still be able to build with it because it's a child of the main thatch primal item resource. If we were to copy it and make the changes, the the game wouldn't know that it was still thatch and we wouldn't be able to use it in our building. So then we're going to rename it to something totally different so we know that it's ours. All of the items in this mod that are going to be new resources are going to be building underscore and then whatever resource they are. And the next thing we want is the primal item inventory for the structure. And you can see here that we have it forced blueprints. This is how the items are forced into being blueprints when you open it. And then we need to add them to the default item list. So we'll search default item. And you can see we already have the stone in there. So we'll select our thatch, hit the little arrow that pops it in there. Now they're set. Anything we put in this list, since we have those other two checkboxes, these items, when we place it, will show up as blueprints. Now that, it, that is bound to this structure's inventory, so we have to save that every time we make a change to the primal item inventory. So now we're going to open the build stone, or building stone, and we're going to size our windows side by side, because I don't remember all the settings I did for this to get this to work. So what we'll do is we'll put them side by side and then go down the list here and just check off each of the ones that we need to make sure that they're the exact same or that the thatch is the exact same as the building so we need the can be a blueprint we'll scroll down scroll down the other one you can see here we need these two we allow use an inventory Allow remote inventory. Scroll down a little bit more. This one was checked on another item. Um, so I just went ahead and checked it on this one because I was checking other items that could be made in the smithy just to make sure I could get this to work right. And it was checked on, I think, the pick. So I went ahead and checked it on here. So we need to allow. Uh, what is it? Allow invalid item version. Not 100% sure what that does. Scroll down some more and we just basically, I know it's a slow, tedious process, but we're going to make sure it's the exact same because the stone works beautifully. So if we make sure these are the exact same, then the thatch will work just as beautiful as the stone. This one is important. I read on the forms that you need this to be checked for it to work in crafting recipes. So for crafting items, you need to check that override. And we also need this, you check BP allow crafting. Scroll down some more, continue checking. It 
there's the weight. I, if I remember right, I changed the weight of this stone. It's not the same as the normal stone. But this one's weight's low already anyway, so we're going to leave that the same. Change the time to craft, because I don't want it to take forever to craft. The whole point of this is to save time. And continue just scrolling down and just making sure we need to add its crafting resource. This here is what tells the game how much it costs to craft the item. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it cost one thatch. And we just put in one and then search thatch and look for primal item resource thatch because that's our base thatch that this is the child of and that's what we want it to cost and because we're basing it on the one that is the parent to this it will know that this one is, when we use it and it creates our building thatch it will see that as thatch as well and we'll be able to use it to craft more and it'll be infinite so now we're going to compile and save that way we don't lose anything if any crashing happens which can happen and the last thing we need to do is this crafting requires the inventory component. This tells it that it can only be crafted or that it has to be crafted in a specific inventory and we wanted our primal item BP build box inventory. So we'll just highlight it, click the check or click the little arrow and pop it in there. Now we'll test. give ourselves ingrams and resources we'll build it in place and you can see our thatch is in there throw a little thatch in there to test it click it and there we go and it crafts but it's only crafting 15 because we forgot to change the quantity so we'll go back to the thatch then we'll type in quantity or QUA and right here it is item quantity and that's the amount you get whenever you craft something and we'll compile and save And while we're at it, let's go ahead and change the max item quantity. This is how big of a stack it is. So we'll allow this item to stack to a thousand. And then we'll go ahead and do that to the stone as well, because why not? I mean, it doesn't matter. So we'll allow the stone, we'll add a zero to that, compile it, save it. We'll give ourselves our ingrams, some more resources, craft the box again. And I could add this so that it gives it to me, it gives me the box every time, but I like to continue craft it just to make sure everything's working every time. So every time you want to test, you want to test each step to make sure you didn't do anything to break it. So then we'll craft the thatch, craft the stone, and there we go. Works, works great. And you can see now that it's stacked into over a hundred. So our stacking is working properly as well. And we can continue to craft. Let's throw out our stone. Double check just to make sure. And you can see now we have no stone. This is the stone. The only stone we have is the stone we just crafted. And it's allowing us to craft structures. So everything should be working just as it's intended to be. Well, that's going to call it for this episode. It was just a quick little modding tutorial. I'll have more in the future. There's a couple other mods that I eventually want to work on as soon as I get the time. And I will do videos for those as well. If you like this video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't want to leave a comment, just smash the heck out of that thumbs up button. Until next time, thanks for watching.